everyone. So here is the intermediate short video to keep you going until we get back to the autumn term in September. It's very short, like the other two. So what I want to do, if you want to um, continue and do a little bit extra, like a half an hour um, um, amount of exercise, you can just pause the video, do a little few add-ons or add-on at the end. You guys know, intermediate level, what the exercises are. So you can just do a few add-ons here, there and everywhere. Okay. So we're going to start off sitting today. So I want you to sit on top, right on top of your seated bones. It doesn't matter how you want to sit. You can sit with your palms of your feet together. You can sit cross-legged. It doesn't really matter. We're just going to do some side stretching to, um, to, stretch, to stretch out. So relax your shoulder blades. Just release them down your spine. Just little rolls of the shoulder. Now start breathing for me. So breathe in through your nose. And out through your back. Good. Now slow it down. Take a breath in. Lovely. Let's do one more. Take a breath in and out. And just find those shoulders just release away from your earlobes. Take a hand either side. We're going to inhale to lift one arm and exhale to take it into a side stretch. Now allow this arm to glide away so you're getting a good old stretch down the side of the body. Try and keep both bottom cheeks on the mat if you can. We're going to inhale through the centre. Stop and exhale to the other side. Again, feel the stretch. Try not to speed it up. Let's try and go with your breath. Breathing in through centre and breathing out to the other side. Lovely, let's do one more each side. So feel that pull coming out of the seated hip bone. Breath in and breathing out, lovely. Take a breath in and as you exhale, release back down. One more roll of the shoulders. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see me into the C curve. Let me just pull this mat away a little bit so you can see a little bit better what we're doing. Okay, we're going to start off with the C curve. So sit right on top of those bony bits on top of the C curve bar. Okay, feet are parallel, hip distance apart. Hands on the thighs to start off with. Elbows are nice and relaxed. Shoulders are released. Chest is nice and open, sitting nice and tall. We're going to inhale to see curve and exhale to release. And again, inhale, exhale. And again, inhale, exhale. One more. Inhale and exhale. Let's take into the exercise. So we're going to inhale to see curve and exhale. Allow the hands to glide down the thighs. Look at your pubic bone. Breath in to hold it. Now use these tummy muscles to draw you back up. See the C curve and lengthen. Inhale, exhale, breath in to hold. Use these tummy muscles to pull you back up again. Keep the C curve and lengthen. Do one more, breath in, breathing out. Breath in to hold it, breathing out to come back up. Lovely, arms away, lengthen, relax your shoulders. Breath in, breathing out. Now push your heels into the mat, keep them grounded. Draw back up and lengthen. Two more, breath in. Breathing out, breath in to hold, look at the pubic bone, breathe out to come up, let's do one more, we're going to stay down there, breath in, breathing out, lovely, take the right arm out to the centre, keep looking at your pubic bone, to the centre, take a breath in here and as we exhale up we come, lovely, come up and over your knees, have a little stretch in that lumbar spine, just breathe into it, and out on one more, take a breath in, and out, lovely. Come a little bit further towards the end of your mat. I'm just going to adjust my mat so you can see me. So we're going to come right to the end because we're going to roll down into a relaxation position. So have your feet off the mat, which mine are at the moment. Hands behind your thighs. Take a breath into C curve and as you exhale, release down. Good. We're going to come down to the base of the shoulder blades and then we're going to stop. Take a breath in. Arms in front of you as you exhale and look at your pubic bone. Up you come and lengthen. Good. Now you're going to take the left arm up, the right arm down and lift. And again, same hand, lift. Good. And let's do one more. And lift. Nice. Let's change them over. So breath in, C curve, come down to the shoulder blades and stop. We're going to lift the opposite arm up, opposite arm down. Good. And again, same side. And lift. Two more. And lift. Last one. You can hold onto the thighs if you want to, or you can leave the arms here and roll. 
roll all the way down. Let's hug the knees into the chest, have a little circle, and have a little breather going both ways. Fantastic. Okay, let's take the feet down, parallel position. Just roll your scoop of yourself down to your mat or the floor, wherever you are, your towel, it doesn't really matter. Make sure you've got length in the back of the neck. The head's nice and heavy. The spine is lengthened. Tailbone is flat. Little connection before we begin, and feet are parallel and hip distance apart. Let's kick it up with the spine curl. So breath in first. Breathing out, tilt the pelvis, peel, lengthen and lift. Lovely direction with those knees. Use the quads, use the back. Relax the chest and shoulders. Breath in, breathing out. Let's sequentially come down one vertebrae at a time, ending with the tailbone. Breath in again. Breathing out. We're going to add on with a rib cage closure. Breath in and breathing out. Leave the arms where they are. Breath in first. Breathing out to come down. One vertebrae at a time. Let's do one more of those. So breath in first. Breathing out. We're going to tilt, peel and lift. Lovely. Now we're only going to take one one, one up over. The opposite edge will lengthen away. Same height as that knee, that resting knee. Draw back. Let's do the other side. Lengthen. Now try to let your bottom drop. Same height as the resting knee, and drop down. Take a breath in, exhale, take the arms into rib cage closure, leave them where they are, come down out of your spine curl. One more set, are we ready? Breath in first. Breathing out, we're gonna tilt, peel, and lift. Stay up here, opposite arm to opposite leg, keep the same height as the opposite knee, and drop, last one, keep the bottom lifted, lengthen, Breathe for me, arms into rib cage closure. Come out of the spine curl, lengthening, ending with the tailbone. The arms come up, over and down. Connect the feet together, hands out, palms facing upwards. Ready for your hip rolls, go straight into them. Now remember to squeeze those inner thighs. Squeeze the knees together, lovely connection right down the legs. Lovely rotation. You can feel the core muscles drawing you back to centre each time. Keep the top of the shoulders relaxed. Nice. Let's do one more on each side. And last one. And come back to centre position. Okay, bring those hands back down to your side for me. Just readjust your pelvis. Feet are hip distance apart again and parallel. Now relax your shoulders. Make sure the shoulder blades are nice and flat. Length, length is, neck is nice and lengthened and your head is heavy. Let's lift the right leg and the left, come into tabletop position. Good. Now relax those ribs for me, make sure they're not sticking out. Tailbone is nice and long. Take the legs to hip distance apart, parallel. Take the arms up if you want to add on a little bit extra. And we're going to drop the legs into a little bit of toe dipping. And drop. And drop. And drop. Good. Now, while you're doing this, think about your pelvic position. Is your lower back hyperextended? Have we got too much extension going on there? Have we really arched? Are our ribs sticking out? So readjust while you're doing this if you need to. Think about connecting navel to spine. Nice flatness in the tailbone. Pelvis in that neutral position. Shoulders are relaxed. Let's do four more. Three more. Two more. Last one, lovely, and have a little hug of those knees. Good, while they're in there, we're gonna get ready for our double leg stretch, are we ready? So take a breath in. As you exhale, just curl up for me. Come into position, draw the legs in. Are you ready for double leg stretch? We're gonna breathe in. Breathe out. Breath in. Breathe out, and again, breath in. Breathe out. Look at your pubic bone, breath in. And out, last one, breath in, and out, and hug those knees, take the head down, just release the tension, just take it from side to side, lovely. Take your legs into 90 degrees again, hands behind the thighs, now flex your feet, come into curl up, I want a little staccato, little crab, and breathe, breathe, now have the elbows nice and wide, I want to start feeling this in your six pack, okay, we've all got one, breathe, 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 breathe. It's a tiny staccato movement. It's not a roll, it's tiny movement on your lumbar spine. And roll, good. 
few more. Last one, and come up into a seated position. Keep the legs up, ready for rolling like a ball. Draw them in, head down in ball position. Are we ready? Only when you feel comfortable and ready, you're going to inhale to go back, exhale to come up. Hold it. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Keep looking down. Keep that head down towards the pubic bone. Last one. Now keep the legs up for me. We're going to come into a transitional exercise of your single leg stretch. So holding onto one of your legs, your other leg is lengthened away. Are we ready? Look at the pubic bone again. And breathe. 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 You're going to do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Draw them in. Take the head down. Take it from side to side. Now, if you want to, you can pause here and do a few more of those. Keep you going. Well done, guys. Okay. So let's come into side now. now. So let's take the feet down. Come into our side. And we're going to look at the torpedo today. So, I'll just scoop the mat up here a little bit so you can see me. Just there. Okay. So, lie in lovely pencil position. You can lie down with the head rested on the shoulder if you want to. Have a look down, make sure the legs are lengthened away from you. You can either have your hands for support or you can take your hand and place it down the side of your body. It's up to you. But make sure you've got a nice stacking action here. You've got ankle on ankle, knee on knee, hip on hip shoulder on shoulder. So we're going to lift the top leg, bottom leg and down and again breathe in, in and out. Breathe in, in and out. Remember your connection here as you breathe out, lovely. Breathe in, in and out. Last one. Breathe in, in and out. Super glue together. Let's lift both legs and drop, lift, and drop. Now make sure the shoulder doesn't creep up towards your ear. So keep that lowered. Lift and drop. Now again, as in these exercises, we're looking for length more than height. It's not about how high can I go, how flexible am I here. It's about lengthening those legs. Using the core muscles to keep this main frame still as the legs are lengthened away. And all those muscle fibres in your legs are doing the work. So breathe in and breathe out. Lovely. Last one. Keep the legs lifted for me. Drop the bottom leg and lift. Drop and lift. Four more. Drop and lift. Drop and lift. Last one. Keep them lifted. Good. Place the hands in front now. You haven't got them here for support. We're going to use scissors. We're going to slice across both directions. Okay. Again, make sure that those hips stay on top on top of each other. And breathe. And three. Keep it nice and slow. Again, it's not about speed. And four. And three. And two. And one. Lovely. Little lift and drop them down. Now place the hand down the side of the body. We're just going to do the hand first. We're going to breathe in and exhale. Find your balance point. Lovely. Breath in and breathe out. If you want to lift the leg on the next one, you can do. The leg can come up as the hand goes over, the arm goes over, and down. Let's do two more. Breath in, and release. Lovely. And last one, breath in, and release back down. Nice work. Now you can either uh, pause the video and do the same on the other side, or rewind it and do it all again on the other side. It's entirely up to you. So come onto your tummy now. Make sure you can see the mat again. I'm just going to reposition myself. Not a very good camera woman, as you can see. <laughs> okay, so wiggle it into your pubic bone. Let's get a connection on the ground first. Have the legs nice and wide. We're going to go straight into full cobra today. So arms at either heart, side of shoulder height. Squash your nose into the mat. Take a breath in here. And as we exhale, we're going to roll that marble with our nose. Shoulder blades release. Spine is lifted. Take a breath in at the top. Exhale, elbows down first. Belly, chest, shoulder, and head. Breath in again. Breathing out. Then roll the marble, lengthen and lift. Lovely, now look to the right. To the center. To the left. To the center. Breath in here. 
As you exhale, drop the elbows down, the belly, the chest, the shoulder, and the head. Well done, everyone. Connect the toes together, hands are down by your side, ready for the dart, head to one side. Breath in first, breathing out, come into dart shape, squeeze, lengthen, and release. One more, breath in, breathing out, squeeze, lengthen. So we're going to do a little add on now. We're going to come up into our dart shape, so come up with me. Lovely, hold it, the legs are open for three, and two, and one. Breath in to hold, breathing out to release. Let's do the arms next. Breath in, breathing out. Come up into your dart, hold it, arms will open for three. And two. And one. Breath in to hold it, breathing out to release. Let's do both together. Breath in first. Breathing out, up we come. Hold your position, legs and arms for three. And two. And one, breath in to hold it, breathing out to release. Well done, everybody. Come into rest position. Bottom to your heels, a little stretch in that spine. Let's take a breath in here. And release. And again, breath in. And release. And one more. And as you release out, I want you to come up into your four point kneeling position. So hands directly under the shoulders, knees directly under the hips. Spread your fingers, relax your elbows, the inside of the elbows are smiling at each other. We've got a nice little S shape here in the base of the spine. With a nice little connection here, probably about 10% already, and your head's in line with your spine. So we're just going to start off with two cats. Breath in first. Breathing out. You're going to tilt the pelvis and let the head drop down. Take a breath in to hold and breathing out to release. Just reposition myself there. One more. Breath in first. Breathing out. Good. And release. Okay, we're going to start off now with the right leg in towards the, yeah, in towards the chest. In cat position already, so we're rounded. Take a breath in here and as you exhale, I want to lengthen that leg away. Okay? Now, in this position, Reposition yourself, bring that, I don't want this pelvis pointed up, but bring it into position, okay? Relax your shoulders. Take the weight into this hand, sorry, into the left hand, the resting hand. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, draw back in. Breathing out. Breath in. Now don't speed it up. Keep it slow. Think about your alignment in top position when you lengthen the leg away. Good. Try and keep the weight in the right hand because the right leg is moving out for me at the moment. Try not to put all your resting weight onto the resting knee and resting hand. Let's do two more. Lovely. And last one. Good. And hold it here. We're going to drop and lift. Drop and lift. And four. And three. And two, and one, and draw it back in. Just have a little um, moment where you can wrist those twizzles or twizzle those wrists, just to release any tension, because it hurts me, I don't know about you. Lovely. Okay, come back into four point kneeling. Spread the fingers. Make sure you're aligned before we go off again. Are we ready? Breath in, knee to chest. Breathing out. Just take a moment to realign. Find your weight distribution. Breath in. Breathing out. And again, breath in. Last one. Lovely. Hold it here, drop it down. And lift, drop, and lift, drop, and lift, drop, and lift. Two more, drop, and lift. Last one, and lift. Draw it in and come into the rest position. Good. Let's take a few deep breaths. Nice. And again. Okay. Let's come into a seated position. So come facing me. Have your legs about 45 degrees. Again, we're sitting on top of those seated bones. Nice and tall. So we can't rotate with the spine if we've sunk in the centre. We need to lift 
It's almost like you're getting you're being pulled up to the ceiling. Flex your feet for me. Take both arms out. A little bit of rotation. So we're going to rotate to the right. Are we ready? Double beat. Lengthen through centre. Double beat. Lengthen. Double beat. Lengthen. Double beat. Lengthen. Double beat. Lengthen. Double beat. Shoulders relax. And again. Smile at me. Two more. Last one. Fantastic. And bring those feet a little bit closer together. Again, like a tall spine. Our spine's against a brick wall at the moment. Take both arms forward. Now a little bit of stretch of the spine. Take a breath in. As you exhale, drop your chin to your chest and unpeel the vertebrae. Take the thoracic vertebrae away. Take the arms forward, come over that lovely beach ball and have a lovely stretch in the lumbar spine. If you want to stay here and drop it down so you're getting a stretch right up the hamstrings into the glutes, you can have a go. Take it all the way down. Breathing in and breathing out. Just slowly stack up, walk your hands back up your legs if you've done so and have a little shoulder roll. Well done everyone. Okay, let's take it into our little crouch stretch. Feet parallel position, so we're getting a stretch in the Achilles. Just going to lift it up so you can't see my cleavage. How lovely is that? Okay, and push down onto your heels. Nice. Have a little go bouncing. Otherwise, you can have your, arm, your hands down. Now, we're looking for a hamstring stretch on the next one. I've done this with you all before. So, I'm going to turn sideways so you can see what I'm doing. I want straight legs with flat hands on the floor if you can. If you can't do this, you can place your hands behind your calves or your thighs. But I want the head in towards the knees, the bottom up to the ceiling, and I want you to pull the body in towards the knees. So try whichever one's easiest for you. Hands on the floor, behind the calves or the thighs. Feel that stretch in those hamstrings. Straighten those legs. We can't have bent legs in this position because it doesn't work. Keep them straight. So have the hands wherever feels comfortable for you, but draw the head in towards the knees and breathe for me, everybody. On the next breath out, I want to stack up, nice connection layer to spine, one vertebrae at a time. Lovely. Roll those shoulders and roll them. Nice. And one more. Lovely with roll. Good. Well done. We're just going to stand sideways and finish off with a bit of balance work today. Okay? So, if you want to use some weights for this one, you can use a can of beans or a bottle of water, whatever it is, it's nice and easy, or just do that. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so feet are parallel, hip distance apart. Make sure you've got length, chest is nice and open, length in the back of the neck. We're going to take the weight over to one foot. It doesn't matter which one, again, you can do whichever one you want. This foot is flexed, it just goes out to the side and draws back in. Out and draw back in. Now focus on something straight ahead of you. Try and maintain your balance. Lovely connection here, navel to spine. You've got length in that spine. You've got the hook on top of the head lifting you up to the ceiling. Good. And last one. Now same leg will move. Opposite arm will lift up to the ceiling, palm facing inwards. And release. And again. And release. So movement is slowed down now. You've got your balance and your focus on that center point, on that line, right down the spine. Two more. And last one. Lovely. And just give those hips a little bit of a shake out. So was that our good or our leg, our bad leg we chose? Let's try the other side, okay? So bring it over to the other leg, find your balance point first of all, flex this foot and take it out to the side, and lift, good, and lift, nice, two more, last one, ready to slow it down, arm and leg, nice, and release, arm and leg, look straight ahead of you, focus, you've got your balance point through the centre of the spine, you've got a lovely connection there, navel to spine, as you breathe out, keep your focus, keep your length, Two more. Last one. Woo! Don't have the teacher dropping on the last one. <laughs> okay, give a little bit of a shake out and get ready for your last roll down. Take a breath in. 
As you exhale, drop the chin to the chest, soften the breastbone, unpeel the vertebrae, allow those shoulders to relax and drop and fall forward. Take a breath in at the bottom, and as you exhale, connect navel to spine, flex stack it up, one vertebrae at a time. Just roll those shoulders out, lovely. And roll them. Ooh, nice crackle. And roll. Good. And roll. I hope you're not drinking too much rosé, everybody. <laughs> and the last one. Fantastic. So allow the shoulder blades to be glided down the back, lengthen the back of the neck. Nice position with the pelvis. Lovely length of spine. Knees are nice and soft. Let's finish off with some breathing. So breathe in through the ribs. And out. And again, breath in through the nose. And last one. Well done guys. I look forward to seeing you in September. Let me know how you get on.